Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's just gonna be a quick message for the tribe, so let's get into it. Um, I'm getting like somebody could be like Aztec or Mayan or Almec, something like that, something about Spanish uh descendant. Um, I'm also getting like you could you could know Spanish, okay, something like that. Something like that. Somebody has like really bushy eyebrows and they have like eyes like this. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing here. Or you could be having dreams about your past life. Okay. Somebody could be going camping. Somebody has headphones and they have like cat ears. Okay. I'm also channeling like Piccolo. Piccolo could be significant. So let me see what we have, Spirit. What we have, Spirit? Thank you. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to know this message here. Maybe this is very important for someone. Okay, but somebody wants you distracted. Okay. Yeah. Somebody don't want you to know there's a change coming because they feel guilty. Somebody feels guilty for an event that happened in your life that changed your life forever. Some of you guys are washing clothes. Okay. I feel like you are awakening to who you are. And this um, epiphany is scaring people because they, they're afraid that they, you're going to find out something that they were, uh, that they did to you that changed your life. Yeah, service. Somebody played a part in a decision that you didn't make for yourself. So it's like this decision, you were, you were forced, like something was forced to change or alter in your life without your decision, without your consent. Somebody could assign some forms without your consent. Okay, somebody's starting to feel guilty for the part they played in your health or in your life that affected someone's health. Somebody's stressed out now because they don't know what to do. Okay, somebody could be a Libra. That's what I'm getting here. Um, let's see what we have. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, date. You were dating a snake. An ex is a snake who could have changed your life for the worse. Some of you guys, this person could have um, some type of STD by dealing with someone else and they try to blame you and they knew they cheated on you. Yeah, something about somebody is being forced to self-reflect after what they've done to you, after being a snake to you. The more you shed old skin, the more you come to closure, the more somebody is like going off the edge because they're forced to see their own reflection. Somebody's forced to see their own reflection here, that they're a snake. Somebody don't like what they see in the mirror. I'm talking about the man in the mirror. Got to change your ways. So somebody ain't changing. Wow, okay. What else do we have? You about to receive a gift, okay? Somebody try to mark you or try to curse you or try to put something on you. Yeah. Somebody, somebody did this to try to change your fate because they knew you had infinity and abundance or somebody like broke into your Akashi record or something or got a reading on you. They were spying on your life and they were trying to alter your life on purpose and now they're in regret. I feel like this is more than one person, but somebody who was helping this person or was in the works with this person or something like that or had a part to play in changing your life for the worse is now in regret. But you're about to have a clean slate and your Akashic record is being restored to you. And I'm also getting um, your abundance is being returned to you. Okay. Spirit had a different way they were gonna they're gonna return your abundance to you. Because somebody could have even forged some paperwork. This could be actual like money. Somebody could be a Pisces. Or somebody was spiritually attacking you a year ago. Okay. What else do we have? A year ago. So this could be like the anniversary um of an ex you were dating. Um, or this could be an somebody's birthday could be coming up. Um, something about a year ago is linked to today or around this time whenever you receive this message. Okay, somebody is being forced or somebody is judgment day. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, 12, 12. Somebody act like a false uh, soulmate. Somebody is trying to get into your dreams to, to, to try to connect to you because they're, 
they don't know how to face you okay some of you guys you're connecting with your soulmate you're mirroring your soulmate okay so a karmic is um in distress because they wish they were your soulmate after what they did to you for some of you guys this could even be a uh, um heavy on the pisces energy all right this has something to do with your spirituality okay or spiritually attacking you like somebody was trying to destroy you through spirituality okay or something like that trying to take everything from you trying to strip you from your identity okay yeah somebody was trying to put some insecurities on you you get a new beginning okay some of you guys are about to have a baby all right a spiritual powerful baby an ancestor could be get returned into this earth i also see growth you're yeah you're growing you could be an earth sign towards capricorn or virgo uh diamond in the rough letter ng first middle or last or k pac-man energy somebody was trying to be greedy somebody was greedy somebody was very passionate to have a power over you to overpower you and now it was on illusion they're realizing it was on an illusion that they're really weak okay somebody's realizing they're a coward it could be a sagittarius they could be a sagittarius somebody could be a gemini somebody like your opposite here somebody is connecting with their soulmate here okay it just took patience and for you to learn a lesson to get this somebody's also learning a valuable lesson to not f with you your needs are being met through the hardships so stay strong everything is happening divine timing you're receiving what you need in divine timing don't don't think that um things are not going your way everything is happening the way it should okay you just have to be strong have faith and just have patience right now but spirit is working it all out for you in the background i feel like somebody knows this somebody knows that the plan did not work it was on an illusion i feel like in their head they thought they were winning it looked like it but you already know how spirit works you already know how it goes Okay. I'm not going to do no tarot, but I actually just continue to do, yeah, except somebody has to accept that you are okay. Yeah, judgment here. Like, everything happened for the reason. Like, you have, you have to accept this. They have to accept this. Things are going your way because that's how it's meant to be in this lifetime. Okay. Like, I don't know. Somebody is facing something. All right. Somebody is having a rude awakening and now they're feeling alone here. And they want your sympathy. They want you to feel bad for them after what they did to you. So they could be trying to come and um, talk to you. I'm getting like for most of you guys, they're trying to talk to you like telepathically, um, spiritually. So if you think about this person a lot, they're pulling on your energy at this time because they want you to contact them because they're, they, they don't have the balls to contact you. Okay. Yeah. They want your forgiveness. And I feel like you should forgive, you know, not for them, but for yourself so you can move on. Forgive yourself for even trusting in them, okay? Yeah, you live and you learn, all right? Yeah, it's time for you to be brave and show gratitude, okay? Something about taking a leap at something, all right? Going towards something. That's the energy I'm getting here as well. Yeah, I'm good off that. Yeah, you're being guided to keep it moving. Forgive and keep it moving, okay? Somebody could be trying to travel to you. All right, you could be traveling. Somebody's trying to astral uh, travel to you. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, God didn't forget about you. You about to receive a lot of abundance. Some of you guys, you about to have a really like be busy and booked. All right, somebody's afraid of this. Yeah, karmic ties is being broken. This karmic was abusing you mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm telling you, somebody overused or over abused their authority. Okay, they was trying to overpower you and they lost all their power. So what's the end on be all for? the tribe courage <laughs> you were brave okay yeah i'm brave enough to seek peace you didn't feed into that you didn't you didn't eye for an eye you didn't you didn't do that you let spirit handle that and that's what they're doing now you get to be at peace because you didn't destroy nobody you didn't have to lift a finger okay you get to move on somebody wants your forgiveness but they don't have the balls to come to you they want you to come to them, but somebody could be finally coming to you to apologize. Um, but Spirit is saying you can forgive, but be careful with this person because this person, they just want to, I feel like for some of you guys, this person just want to regain power over you because they feel like they have something to prove. Some of you guys, this person really did get on their knees and finally see their ways, but I feel like there's just no returning back to what it was. It's just not realistically. You can love someone from a distance. Okay, guys, love you.